Hello, this is a brief overview of the changes that are coming with Relativity's Server 2022 to the mass operation that Relativity calls PDF. I prefer to say saving and creating PDFs, but they call it mass operation PDF. If you want a more extensive training, please reach out to your manager and they can schedule some time to walk you through some of the finer details. As you know, the function, or I should say the mass operation PDF is found between the document count and the save search with server 2022 relativity has once has at once simplified creating PDFs and has also created more options for PDFs considered a mass operation the PDF option can be found at the foot of the document preview panel on the left hand side between the document count window and the save search option. And I will show you a larger screen capture of that screen. This is the document count window, window, excuse me. And this is the save search option. You choose PDF. There are five key components to either saving a PDF or creating one. They are as follows, action, file types, PDF options, naming options, and then PDF profile. Let's take a deeper dive, but a brief one. The action is essentially what you want to do. Do you want to download it? Do you want to store it so that it can be viewed in the PDF viewer? Do you want to delete the document? You would need administrative permissions to do that, but some of um, our users are granted administrative permissions. I'd be very careful because then that document has to be reloaded. The next um, key component are, is the file type. So are you dealing with a native that you're converting? Are you dealing with an image that you're converting? Sometimes you receive a production from opposing or from a third party and you want to convert that to a PDF. So that's the file type option. And of course the PDF options, individual PDFs in a zip. So if you've got multiple documents, which is why it's called a mass operation, if you've got 600 documents that you want to convert as uh, to a PDF or if they are already PDF and you simply want to Save them you can save them as individual PDFs and they will be zipped uh, In a container so that it doesn't take up a lot of space and it's easier than to download to your uh, machine You could also save the entirety of the search that you've created uh, as a single PDF so typically what we want to do is start with a save search of the documents that we are attempting to either download or create as PDFs. Um, and if you want the entire search of documents, say you've got a thousand documents and you just want them to be one document, you can, um, and that's not my disparaging creating uh, a single document as a PDF, but you can create all those documents as a single PDF. And then the final option under PDF options is the PDF portfolio, um, also known as PDF packaging. So think of this as when we used to work with paper documents and we had a stack of documents that we wanted to be considered together. We would staple them or bind or clip them um, together and they'd all be treated the same. So that's what PDF portfolio does. It takes the documents that you've selected and it binds them together in a folder. So they're not, uh, not even virtually stapled. They're not stapled, no staples or binder clips involved, but they are put into one folder so that they're all together. Naming options, this is pretty straightforward. You can use the control number, some call it doc ID, some call it bed control. You can use a combination of control and field. Um, and then finally, there is the PDF profile. Oh, I wanna go back to the naming options. You have a couple of other options that are really important. So you can name it after the field and then append the file type to the end of the field name. So say that you, the document started as a doc, a Word doc, um, or a PowerPoint, and you converted it to a PDF, but you want the person who's receiving uh, this document to realize that at some point this was a Word doc or a PowerPoint. Then you could choose the name of the field and append that file type to the end of the name of the field. You can also create a prefix with a sequential number. Finally, there is the PDF profile. These profiles have to be set up ahead of time. That is before you begin this mass operation to convert or save either one PDF or multiple PDFs. You have, it's usually a system administrator who would do this, so they have to have created the P 
PDF profile ahead of time. And then you will see here that you have a way of choosing which of the profiles you want to use. Non-searchable PDFs, searchable PDFs, which is really popular. Um, and there is even an option to tag the document with a bag control number. Finally, I wanted to show you exporting searchable PDFs using the Relativity Desktop Client. Make sure you create a save search. Everything starts with a save search. Then you select your workspace. We are going to choose documents or search in Los Pollos Hermanos. Uh, that's my favorite workspace. And then you go to Tools. You go to Export. You go to Save Search. You make sure you select the search that you created earlier. And then under Selected Columns, you want to make sure that you have all of the fields that you want in case you want to export these documents to uh, an outside party and they want to ingest them in their own platform. There are a variety of options uh, that you should pay attention to. Uh, the export location so that you don't have to go on a hunt for your exports. So you just want to make sure that you're choosing where you want the documents to be saved once the export is completed. You can choose the, uh, under option number two, you can choose the prefix for the volume. Um, you have to make sure that you choose an identifier if you are exporting native files. The desktop client will not allow you to export documents if there are natives and, and uh, you've not chosen an identifier for the native. Just choose back control, that's what identifier means. You can also create a custom identifier, um, but that makes things more complicated. Opticon gives you the option of if you're producing images to another person and they want to ingest them in their own platform, in order for their platform to read the documents, they would need an Opticon file. A DAT file is required. You can use CSV or Concordance. This industry standard is Concordance. And then the encoding are basically the, how the language of the data is read. Uh, the industry standard is Western European. There are... Um, most documents are either in English or a Western European language that's readable by the Western European encoding. Um, there are exceptions uh, such as CJK documents, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, um, and uh, there is a, an option for documents that uh, appear in those languages or need those characters. And just you know, see your manager if you need more help with that. Finally, and this is just a tip I always give, um, Make sure that you pay attention to this export multiple choice fields as nested. Basically, if you are providing these documents to someone else or you want to move them to a different workspace altogether, if you don't untick that box, if you've got um, an issue code that's got multiple choices underneath, or I should say, uh, it will collapse all of the choices you have there under that primary choice. And that would be easier to show you in a workspace. Please see your manager if you want to be shown that in a workspace. Then you navigate back to file. So let me just show you this. You navigate back to file because you've already chosen all the options on both these tabs, both data source and destination files. You navigate up to file, you click run, and your export has begun. Congratulations. And that is my brief overview of the changes that are coming in Relativity Server 2022 with what Relativity calls its mass operation, PDF. Thank you for your time.